Back again, back again. What up you guys? It's your boy, Wazdo, coming back another time with more dope luck for your viewing sneaker pleasures and for my spending sneaker pleasures, right? <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I reviewed this shoe. To this day, it's my third most popular sneaker, meaning you guys obviously fucked with it and also it was good on my part because I literally was the first person to ever post about this shoe. Fast forward to a little later that year, more colorways start coming out. This shoe starts becoming increasingly popular, meaning that more and more people in the media, hipster youth, everyone, wants to get a piece of it which I thought was fucking fine so yeah this shoe came and went as you could see I beat it up and this time around I thought it was time to upgrade before we get into the shoes make sure to follow me on Instagram because I always post pictures of pickups like this one before you guys get to see him only follow me on Twitter I mean on YouTube yeah YouTube <laughs> also I'm gonna make it super easy for you guys follow me on snapchat snapchat is the easiest way for me to communicate with you guys all at one time like literally today I put up a post saying that I was gonna post more throughout the week and gave you the exact dates of which I was gonna post so you guys can look out for it which makes it easier for me and easier for you guys also I'd like to think I'm pretty entertaining on snapchat so yeah put your phone up to the screen right now and it'll come up everybody will be fine all right guys so as you can see this shoe the raf simmons as we go to kind of looks a lot like this shoe i mean they both use the same the same colors just inverted right or at least this one uses a lot of the colors on this one from quick glance you can tell if this one is pink has a little bit of brown and a lot of navy from quick glance to this one you can tell it's it's all cream has a little bit of navy and pink pot just like this one so let's take a deeper look at this shoe and tell you guys what it's all about it might look a little blown out on camera but don't worry i'm going to provide detailed shots as you look around the shoe you can see there's three signs of Raph Simmons branding on the shoe one on the tongue itself with a pod on the inside the insole of the shoe and on the outsole of the shoe where it says Adidas Raph Simmons the whole shoe at a quick glance you can tell that it's mostly mesh it's mesh and it's also tumbled or fine leather as opposed to the last shoe the previous shoe the first video I did on these which was mesh and nylon so a little bit of an upgrade in the material category at least from my end I have nothing wrong with nylon but I definitely fuck with the leather shoe as always as you guys probably know anyway you get a close-up of the pods here and you can see that the pods on the inside of the pods there's kind of like a there's kind of like a texture to it making it really cool also you can tell that the surroundings of the pods are two different types of leather you got perforated leather for the pod right Right here and then you got perforated and then you got normal smooth leather for this pod if you look really there it's like rain leather for the whole shoe as well really cool both shoes share the same outsole which is basically just a, a navy blue outsole which I have nothing wrong with it's really cool going around to the back you see they also they keep mixing these materials so on the back you get the three stripes a little bit of Adidas branding right there in cream on a cream kind of like I don't even know what to call this like what type of leather this would be it's not alligator it's not crocodile it just looks like like the mesh in a sense kind of resembles a lot of the mesh and then you get more smooth leather the super round uh, mesh ridge that comes around the, the midsole is pretty cool I think the midsole makes a lot of people think about think about uh, Skechers they always say that in the comments and you know I'm not hating on if you guys think they look like Skechers and they look like Skechers and it's the same midsole as the other shoe except this time instead of being navy blue it is white and instead of having hits of green like the last shoe had this one's just all white they keep it one traditional color and I think this is super clean as far as pricing goes yes this this is a designer shoe so it will cost you a pretty penny more than a pretty penny but what you have to do is just be patient this shoe came out at the middle towards end of August and it was retailing for damn near 500 bucks and I didn't buy that shit come on guys I wasn't gonna buy pay 500 bucks for a shoe especially a white shoe that was gonna get fucked up with wear I mean if you're gonna wear it, it's gonna be messed up so I waited and it took about three weeks I mean now we're like beginning to middle of September and I got the shoe for $250 guys all you have to do is look for steals just keep searching the same websites like Thespian, End Clothing, Essence, Revolve, all those stores, and you will come out on top. Don't worry, you will come out on top. As far as the fit goes, definitely go true to size, 100% true to size. As far as which two shoes I like the most, I definitely think that this one still wins out just because it has a variety, more of a variety of colors. The mixture of the brown, pink toe aspect to it is really cool. You get little hits of green, which is what I used in my first outfit of the week. I'm gonna link that down below because a lot of people tell me they really fuck with it to this day. That was also in 2014. So yeah, uh, but this isn't a bad shoe is what I'm saying and it's really cool and for the fall sp and springtime you could definitely kill this to not make this video too long 
let's get into an on feet. Wait, hold up, I got a new poster, peep that. It's every sneaker, like the hottest shoe of every year starting in 1917, or like I guess the first time a major shoe released, all the way to 2013. It ends with the Kobe 8s, and I'm not really fucking with that, because you know, I'm not a Kobe fan, I don't think that's a dope shoe, but whatever. It ends with the Kobe 8s. the end of the video as always leave a like if you actually like the video enjoyed the content you thought it was dope informative entertaining the music was on point all that leave a like because i always appreciate that leave a comment down below let me know what you thought did you think it was entertaining did you not fuck with it did you see this did you see that that someone else didn't saw all that stuff always super helpful super informative as well if you want to connect with me on all social media as i said earlier in the video click that down there and if you want to watch my initial review of the Rap Simmons as we go twos way back 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 in the day you want to see a little bit of a fetus fuzzy a little bit of a younger me click right there because I'm sure you guys will like that video that's when we were on the rooftop OG rooftop day so yeah for all my true tried and true dope luckers like OG fans you guys will enjoy that anyways I'm out